Assalamu alaikum. I wanted to briefly just touch upon this recent incident that happened in Norway where you had these anti Muslim, anti Islam, uneducated, ignorant individuals getting together to provoke Muslims to try to propagate hate by getting together and burning the verbatim word of God Almighty the Quran so we know that these things are going to continue to happen but now how we respond to them if every time a trap is set and these are traps set how are we going to go about dealing with these things are we our, our response is going to be fruitful are they going to produce fruitful results so we have an individual that I would talk to as if I'm talking to my son and many people are lifting him up as some hero of the Quran but I wouldn't consider my own son who I'm trying to raise in the deen who are going to be inshallah warriors in the deen who have good adab good character akhlaq we want all of our children to be true ambassadors to this deen. But if, if he ran out and he tried to throw some kick and punch and then you have all of this escalating and then other people getting involved, you see this other brother arguing with police and drama, a big drama show, what, what's the benefit at the end? I would tell my own son, I say, what are you doing, son? Did I raise you better than that? How are you benefiting Islam? How are you benefiting, benefiting the Ummah? What's the next guy going to come with? A bottle, a knife, a bat. We know how this goes. We know this violence just escalates. We got too many of those. We got too many people with zeal. They have this, they bring this hood stuff. They bring this street mentality. They bring this zeal. But it has to be based on knowledge so I would tell my son son this is not the way forward for anybody it's not going to produce anything good it's like coca-cola everybody's all excited for a moment the guy's watching too many Arturos and thinking we're at that time and now what have you done the fizz from the coca-cola is gone you got a sugar rush, rush. What, what are you left with? Diabetes? What are you left with if you keep drinking that garbage? And what are we left with? If we got, all we got is people, but just feeding into the stereotype that Muslims are violent. So brothers and sisters, don't fall into these traps. Use this zeal and this energy to really benefit the ummah. Learn your deen. Make sure you're waking up for fajr. Make sure you're hitting the books that you're understanding the basics of Islam. You're staying away from the clubs. You're not following your desires. And Allah didn't tell you to defend the deen this way. Get out there intellectually. Convey this message. Live it. Having the good adab, the good akhlaq, that people can see you are a true ambassador to Islam. That you're representing it with good character, good morality. And then you're calling people to what Allah SWT, to the Creator, God Almighty, told you to call them to. And I believe in Norway, you have projects underway. And I believe in Norway, there is a group called Islam Net. They're trying to open up a good center where people can come learn about their purpose in life, where they clear the misconceptions about Islam. This brother should go hook up with them. And intellectually combat these evil these these are deluded people who've been affected by the hate and the violence is not going to solve or eliminate their hate it will just continue to perpetuate more hate against muslims and islam and feed the stereotypes that muslims are violent look at them now we need to battle these things intellectually you need to get educated on your deen and deal with these things that academic intellectual level and if you don't know go and know and go and find out and then back the people 
like for instance Islam Net doing some great work go and be a part if you're in Norway they're in Norway support their work and save the Arturo Ghazi stuff for the big screen brothers and sisters and if you want to learn how to fight go join a martial arts class under some supervision learn how to properly throw a kick a punch but at the same time you're going to learn some discipline and a true fighter a true warrior has that discipline and he knows when it's time to defend himself and when to use it and step up and be a real man all right and as the prophet sallallahu had told us that the strong person is the one who can control themselves control their emotions their desires that's a true warrior at the same time he knows when to step up and be a man and to defend himself and his family so this is just my thoughts brothers and sisters thank you jazakallah khairan assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh okay dr ali uh, i don't agree with dr qureshi that when people uh, see the quran being burnt they're thinking that well something of the eternal nature of god is being burnt here i think people are re re responding emotionally which they shouldn't do and they should muslims should recognize that if somebody burns the quran uh, that actually uh, is a person who needs to be pitied because that person is putting himself against god and, and that person will have to face god on the day of judgment and answer for why he or she burnt the quran uh, th th there's nothing we can do to that person that would be more severe than God's punishment for that person in their life hereafter. Rather, we should call on such a person to repent and pity such a person if that person is not repenting.